Hello everybody, this is Elias, and today I wanted to do a quick video um, as an answer to someone that requests this. Um, they want to know how to add an image to CodePen. So I decided to do the video, it's going to be a quick video, just to show you how to do it. So the first thing that I want to see, say is you need to log into your CodePen. Once you log into your CodePen, you can start writing the code. So once you log in, you click on Create, then you create a new pen. Very simple. I usually change the view um, so that it looks sort of like this. Gives you more real estate, you know, it looks better. I, at least I think that it looks better. So, um, so we want to get started right away. Um, the first thing that I want to say is that you do need um, you need to have a um, how do you look at it? Um, you need to have a the, go to post image because post image is actually a pretty cool website. Um, so it's, it's a really good photo hosting website. So it helps you out with um, getting images and being able to post them anywhere online. And you know it's a free free uh, photo hosting. You can uh, you can I believe you can create an account and go from there. Anyway, so uh, to get started, like I said, um, first go to this website, upload the images, and I'm, as you can see, these are the images that I'm going to use. Red Dead Redemption, if you're a gamer. Anyway, so we go in here, and there's three different ways to add images to um, HTML. So one is without the size. Uh, it's just an image that you add to to it and uh, once you add the image then you can you know you can you can change the size later on. And there's um a background image and there's also a, you know like I said the different size. So let's go let's get started and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a div right away um, so that it's right there and we can manipulate where the photo is going to be. So let's do a div class. And we're going to call it image. I can't type today. Anyway. Close that out. Perfect, right? Uh, so we're going to put this image right in here. So we're going to start without the size. And um, so it's pretty simple, you know. You go in here and uh, close this out. You go in here, and um, so we're gonna choose a smaller photo for now. And when you click here, you actually get the link to the exact like where the image is at. So you want to get this one a direct link. Go here, copy that, close that. And you go back here. So with touching the size, um, what you gotta do is. Right here with the HTML, not the CSS, with the HTML. Um, what you need to do is you need to type it in here. Um, for some reason, my computer is acting up now. <laughs> and it's <slow. laughs> Okay, now it's fine. Okay, so go here and type um, IMG SRC. And you typed in, you can literally enter paste that um, that link right there and notice how the image shows up right, right away there pretty simple right so in this case um, you've added the image to the div you know if you want to go ahead and you know put some code into the div you know you can also put put some CSS on it if you'd like um, so um, let's see you can put in let's see, uh, since this is a class, uh, I'm going to call it, and it's a class called image. We're just going to put some code into it, so let's center that, that code so it's, in, it's more in the center of the window. Margin. Auto. Should have centered. But we just have to give it a size. Height 200 yes. So it went, it went right in the middle um, of the of the window, as you can see. So that's the first way to do it. That's the first way to do it. You can actually change the size um, later on. So um, a good way to go about this is by simply adding CSS to it. Uh, that's going to probably take a little longer, but I'm going to show you. 
So, um, right over here you have the image, image SRC, then you have the name, then you have a little bit of space there, but it's not closed. So, definitely, oops, sorry, definitely want to close it. So you put in here um, with put style. And then, um, then you put, uh, you definitely want to put the width first. So once you put width, make sure you spell everything the right way because if you don't, um, it's not going to turn out the way you want it to turn out. So you put that in there and then now you put a size. So let's say you want to put 400. You put 400 pixels. And uh, let's see, the next thing, you want to put in uh, the height. Oops, sorry. And height. Which is, let's say, 200 pixels. You see how the size changed? And you can change the size to a different size. You can change it to... I don't know, 700, 600, uh, you can change it to 400, and that's going to, you can, you can literally do it from there, from the HTML, and it changes the size. Now, um, that's one, obviously one way of doing it, um, and that'll help you out if you want to add an image to uh, Code Pen. But say you want to add a background image, and you want to add it to that div. Well, that's pretty simple. Um, it's basically all you have to do is go into your CSS uh, where the class was created, uh, where the div class is. So what I'm going to do is, for purposes of uh, this video, I'm actually going to remove this part of it here. So that the image is gone. And um, I'm going to add, a, uh, I'm gonna add the, a background image. Similar image to this, but I'm going to use a bigger image. And I'm going to go back to postsimg.org. I'm going to have a link in the description, by the way, so you can go to this web, these websites and uh, be able to use these tools. So, the next thing is um, you want to add it as a background. You want to add it to your div as a background. So, the first thing you have to do is something very simple. You go down here to this area where your CSS is at, and you just add it. So you add background image, background and uh, image, and then um, you put a URL, URL, that's it up, you type in what you want uh, the address of the the image right here in between so you'll enter in in this case I already have copied it so I paste it there it's already something showed up over here then you'll wanna close it out now obviously the reason you can't see the full image is because of the size here so what you wanna do is you wanna change the size so you wanna put I don't know let's put 900 900 pixels, and then we're going to put, uh, let's say, 500. And then you have the full image in the div, and you can actually manipulate it. You can change the size. Uh, well, I don't think you can actually change the size um, if it's a background image, but you get the picture. You can actually add it as a background. So that, that looks like it should be it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment on the bottom of this video. I'm also going to put the links um, in the in the description for you to check it out and go from there signing off this is Elias uh, and this is EH tech support take care everybody